we could say, an individual's effort, strength, power, and enough speed to do the business. Justin Marshall, it's a great one to launch New Zealand back into this game, but Rob Cripp, beautiful little dummy, strength to hold the ball up. Now have a look, another dummy through the hole, just struck through that tackle, opened it up, stepped inside Latham, and planted it over the goal line. Well, that's what the boys in black needed. Ron Cribb runs so well, so comfortably with the ball in hand. That was a good answer. That's four tries apiece. Well, Murray, Mr. Watson need no longer look at Norman Maxwell because he's just been replaced by Troy Flavel and Jersey 20. Good looking kick. All Blacks take a four point advantage, and the Black supporters are up. 31 to 27 in this incredible match in Sydney. Well, nobody really knows what's going to happen next. That's the fantastic thing about this game. Kickoff is made. Troy Flavel is there at number 20. Black Adder has uh, controlled it. Marshall is punching it downfield. Latham didn't have too many other options. Waiting for this is uh, Anton Oliver. Holding Latham at bay. So New Zealand needing to string some phases together now. So that's one. And some good fashion, vigorous racking going on for Maxwell. And I'm sure that's right. Wayne Smith would have uh, determined the penalty rate was too high. Good state, the state is strong. Randall takes the pass off Crew. Good combination between the two. Marshall sends it wide for Mertens. Iremia. Kronfeld is right there. And is out. Advantage for the All Blacks. Troy Flavel. He was well stopped. Now Mertens looks on the inside. Cullen's come right up into the line. And the All Blacks getting a good period with the ball in hand. Now Mertens away for Randall. He's had a top game team, Randall. As they get almost to the 10 metre line. Alatini, who made a very early impression in the game. All Blacks conscious of getting the ball to the ground smartly. Now Cullen comes in close. Well held by Jeremy Paul. Oliver. All Blacks displaying some patience here. Which is exactly what's needed, not breaking the advantage line. Mertens then goes with a little kick through and uh, Latham reads it beautifully. Gets away from a few. And finally it takes a tackle by uh, Case Muse to knock him over. So the little kick through didn't come off for Andrew Mertens. Latham read it so well, it was his anticipation really, and didn't he do well? He struck two, in fact, virtually struck three tackles, desperately held by Case Hughes, tight head prop, good effort. So Jason Little, with a bit of the claret on display. Yes, and Rod Kafer on uh, straight away in Jersey 17, an obvious blood bin here. Little's had a big game, he wanted to rush him back if they possibly can. Rod Kafer, who played at first five in this test last year. Larkham, of course, not available at the time with injury. Blackadder gets high. Another good throw from Oliver. I've been impressed with Blackadder a number of times. He's gathered the ball, stolen back the ball that was rebounding, that time taking a good line out, which was badly needed. This is a good drive by New Zealand. Good start from the All Black forwards. They went 15 metres. Now Marshall looking to probe round the fringes. Blackadder works it across to Mertens. Alatini. Lomu charging hard. Gets to the 10 metre line. And he's got them for offside too. And it's against David Giffen, number four. And the All Blacks have come back very strongly in the second half after conceding the lead. 
And there's an opportunity here for Andrew Mertens. There's David Giffen. It is a 20th test match. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'd take this kick at goal. As we watch Justin Marshall once again probing around the outside. Held, well held, but he gave the pass. Yes. New Zealand, of course, a little bit of way on. Good for their confidence to have the ball in possession, to go through the phases. Of course, if Mertens misses this kick, it gives possession back to Australia. So they haven't far. had a lot of it in the second half. 11 points so far in the match for Andrew Mertens. Closing in on Grant Fox's New Zealand uh, all-time test record. Distance is OK. Direction is great. Penalty is made. And it's 34 to 27. Well, when a goal's kicked like that, it certainly vindicates the, the choice of the captain to take the three points. Opens a little seven-point gap, a little breather. Well, it's a pressure kick. It was a key kick. Shocking kick from Larkin. They'll have to play at the Wallabies. The All Blacks can uh, take the option. They'll go for the scrum, no doubt, in uh, centre field. Which gives their backs great opportunities on both sides of the scrum. And I'm sure they'll have a move work for... Obviously, Wayne Smith being the first 5-8. Loved moves, so every scrum in this sort of situation will be a move on. Three one way, three the other. They're going out to the right with Alatini. Marshall looking for the support of Crib and finds it. Umanga in there to help out. That's uh, the halfway line. Now Marshall. They've come up very quickly, the Wallabies. Bordering on offside once again. That's that characteristic Alatini shimmy that got him through the advantage line. Cullen hands it back inside to Blackadder. They really have uh, come out of the second half and decided to hang on to this ball. As Randall grunts it up another metre or so. Mertens. Eremia. Now it's uh, Carl Hoff to the halfway line. Just probing away, looking on the inside. And this time it's uh, lost by Frick. And all the hard work comes to nothing. It was a big tackle made on Ron Frick, and he just lost control of the ball. So New Zealand with several phases, unable to really break over that advantage line. Good defence by Australia. Yes, the little mistake, so crucial. So that's quite surprising, really, when we see handing errors eight to Australia, five to New Zealand. Change in the front row there, Richard Harry limping off, Glenn Panaho on jersey 21. So plenty of Kiwis uh, in the front row, Glenn Panaho, Jeremy Paul, both uh, New Zealand born. Cregan to Latham. Herbert is met very, very strongly by Marshall. No big pardons at all in the tackling. Now Larkham away to Kafer. He's well held too. Cronfeld was in there too, like the, the loose forward he is, trying to snivel. Kefu off to Connors. Now it's the Wallabies' turn uh, to have a go at the All Blacks. Panaho gets a chance to stretch the legs, gets it back and, uh, well, it's knocked straight down apparently. The All Blacks, I reckon, have got this though. Turnover. Great work on the ground. I suspect it was uh, Kronfeld. Merton's uh, kick is beautifully controlled by Latham. Merton's gets back. They want to open it up straight away. That's an awful pass. Was it four? That's the question. Apparently not. Referee says offside against Ron Cripp. 